Unmanned aerial vehicles, or more well known as drones, were originally developed with regards to military technology. However, in recent years, due to decreasing production costs, more private companies can afford this technology for commercial uses. These include aerial photography, topographic mapping, and express delivery to name a few. Compared with manned aircrafts, drones have no need for an airport to take off and are much cheaper to build. Both of these factors have made drones very appealing to private companies. In 2006, China's civilian drone market began to develop and as of now is already quite developed when compared to other various industries. National Business Daily reports recently General Secretary Zhang Feng from Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association of China has shown great optimism for China's civilian drone market. Zhang explains that China has between 300 and 400 civilian drone manufacturers. The total employees have exceeded 10,000. Also, some predict the total market value will reach 50 billion yuan or about 8 billion US dollars. Last year, Amazon announced its plan to use drones for delivery services. The company planned to deliver packages up to five pounds to consumers who live within a 10 mile radius of the warehouse. China's express delivery company, Shenfeng, also announced a similar plan last year. The company hopes to use drones to deliver packages to the country's remote areas. Apart from delivery, drones have also been widely used in TV series and movies. The 15th season of the U.S. drama series Crime Scene Investigation and a Chinese reality show Where Are We Going, Dad? both use Chinese brand drones for filming. Chinese farmers have also found profitability of adopting drones in agricultural production. In China's rural areas, farmers prefer using drones to spray pesticides rather than manually doing this. A drone can spray pesticides over 40 to 65 acres of farmland each day. By comparison, a person can only spray 1.3 to 1.6 acres a day. It is difficult to find people willing to do this job in rural areas because of labor shortages. So some farmers purchase drones to solve the issue. Spraying pesticides by drone costs 20 to 90 dollars per acre, and maintenance costs only about 3 dollars per acre. It is easy to see the plethora of benefits using drones offer, but on top of that, drones in China are quite cheap. When searching for drones on Taobao.com, a user can find over 6,000 results. The cheapest one only costs a few hundred yen, which is less than 100 US dollars. Conversely, the most expensive one costs around 16,000 US dollars. The Daily News cites data from China Securities Company Limited to reflect China's drone demand over the next decade. It is estimated China's drone demand will increase from the 2013 figure of 620 million US dollars to 2.3 billion dollars by 2022. That equals out to 15 percent annual increases during that period. However, there are still many issues that raise concern for the drone industry. So don't go away because up next in Money Matters, we'll discuss these issues and more. Stay tuned.